Hey, welcome back! We are building Paisley's house today, and this is not going to be a very challenging build, but as an adult, I'm here for the mini dolls. All three of them are currently exclusive to this set, and there are going to be pieces in this that are also exclusive, and we could be able to use them in interesting ways in the future, because you can bet your sweet bippy that I will be modding this. So, there are 185 pieces in the set as it stands. There are $70, $70 here in Australia, $40 in the US. Every time I look at the uh, exchange rate there, I'm always dubious of the thing we get a bit ripped off over here in Australia. But anyway, at least we don't live in New Zealand. Okay, sorry New Zealanders, it's all very expensive for you. So there are three bags in here, got three instruction books, which is all broken up to make it a nice easy build. Yep, okay, and one book per bag. So nice and simple, even I can't get this wrong. Now this is the very first look that we get at Paisley's family, but we're gonna start with the with Paisley's little corner here, which is actually bag three. But before we do that, we're going to meet the three characters that come in here. So Paisley has got this new pants mold, which has got the shoes peeking out the bottom, which looks, I still think it looks a bit like double leg casts. <laughs> I'll get over that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but they're cute, except, oh my gosh, it's just, I'm obviously adulting too hard because I just think about how the bottom of those hems are going to be completely frayed because they're dragging along the ground. Her shirt is so cute. We need another layer of purple along the top. It says something Flokinirk and and Haley on it, I think, but it's got a picture of a guitar on it. You can see a bit of her pink singlet from underneath or a little pink bra strap where she's double layered. It's a really cute modern look that we're seeing in the mini dolls this year. I'm loving it. Paisley's face is actually currently a unique look for her. There's no other mini doll face prints that have got the eyelids going downwards on the outside so far. It's really exciting. It gives her a, a unique expression. Got her hair, which is half covering one eye, which is just adorable. It's so cute. I'm just all the new hair pieces are just so fantastic this year. She has got a guitar to hang out in her little special corner of the garden with, but I'll get to that. I promise I'll get to that. And oh, you can actually get the mini doll to hold these guitars kind of, not just holding it upright because you know they're hands don't turn there is stone turn which means but you can actually stick their hand into that little peg on the back it's not terribly secure but it's secure enough so I'm going to call it a success I think that's good now this set gives us an opportunity to meet Paisley's family which is really really exciting she's got a little sister her name according to the uh, description is Ella and Ella is she looks like she's wearing a party dress but if you're a toddler you wear party, party dresses every day if you can get away with it I mean why wouldn't you she also has the downturned eyes too so it, it's very it, it's so it's so good that the genetics working nicely here i have to try out paisley's hair on her though and just see if she now just looks like a teeny tiny paisley she really does though right got a weenie to <laughs> weenie toddler version of paisley no put it back we'll put it back because her hair piece is really adorable she actually has got the little uppy pony tails <laughs> in carrot orange hair and it just makes me think of Anne of Green Gables because you know she starts with she has the carrot orange hair but she wants when she grows up she wants it to darken into a real handsome auburn like Paisley's is now so it's like the young version of Anne and the old version of Anne I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting so distracted anyway I would so love Anne of Green Gables mini dolls they'd be so adorable anyway the, the girl's father the girl's is his father I assume he's their father I mean he might be their uncle he could be their parent their, their caregiver he's got a uh, khaki green pants but he almost looks like he's not wearing any shoes at all it, like they could be a skin tone out like, like, but his skin tone is the same skin tone as the girl so but they could have put like I could have put some like little fastenings on his shoes so that they don't just look like they've been dipped in the, in the color because they do use this technique for bare feet not putting Anyway, so distracted. Let's move on. So he's wearing a blue chambray shirt. He's got a beard. He's got blue eyes. He's got a dark brown beard. And he's also got dark brown hair. So genetically, the girls did not get their hair color from, the, from I'm going to call him their dad, from their dad, from Jonathan. Oh, and at the moment, I'm assuming that he's single parenting these girls because we're not seeing any sign of a partner, but we are seeing sign of a bunny. So there's a little bunny. This bunny's called Melody, which is very appropriate because Paisley is a musician and she's obsessed with music. So the bunny's very cute in grey, got a new, <laughs> new little 
little face print with eyebrows, little white bony eyebrows, perfect. So this is the whole family as it stands currently. Paisley's family in their teeny tiny house, which you know is not going to have enough bedrooms for all of them. You just know. You don't even have to look to know. Unless every, no, there just aren't going to be. But first up, let's start. <laughs> Which means it's a job for me. Hooray! Because I love making bedrooms, so that's perfect. So first up, we get a teeny tiny hutch for Melody, and Melody just kind of gets whapped in there, and there's no jumper stud there to hold her in place, but mm, yeah, so not safe for shaking. Good to know. Also got a carrot shoved in the ground next to her. Perfect. Melody's little hutch is complete. Next up, we get a table and chairs, and this is actually designed to go into the house but there's not enough room for it inside the house so it's currently a subsidiary build but you can kind of shove it into the house as we go so we got two cute little chairs got <laughs> got a plate with a cookie a sugar cookie and then an apple and a banana like they're hiding the cookie nothing the cookie's not really there we're just a bowl of fruit and a rubbish bin with a wine bottle in it which is really nice because it just gives a nod to the fact there's also an adult living in this house too so recycling rubbish bin check now this is paisley's little garden section which is just an adorable concept and i love it so we've got a wall bit we've got a ladybug ladybug <laughs> Picking up new ads. It's a good day. Uh, yeah, okay. A lady beetle, and we've got a little stool with some music on it. Everybody's still playing When You Wish Upon a Star, which is very cute. That's what everybody learns in the Lego Land. And a stool for oh, Paisley to sit on. She can't hold the guitar while she's sitting there, but check out how stable she is with those pants pieces. And I haven't even put her hinge like all the way down. Now she's sitting all the way flat. Interesting. I need to experiment a bit more with these new pants pieces because they seem they seem cool so we've got the whole bag done bag number one is actually the bag that jonathan comes in and he is supposed to have an accessory he's got a frying pan with a waffle in it so he's on breakfast duty or you know any meal duty you can have waffles any time of the day fight me <laughs> no don't because you'll you'll lose waffles are an all-day food so we have got the ground floor happening at the moment we've got a bit of a grass section happening outside and an enormous big wall panel to go in really quickly but these printed window pieces are lovely the yellow uh, the yellow panel that goes in the middle is really pretty and I think it's the first time we've ever seen it in this color and now we're actually constructing everything to hold together on the top with the smooth tiley bits and the little jumper studs. The house number is 23 on this beautifully printed little tile with some succulents in the in the planter box. Oh my gosh I'm, I'm obsessed and the door is purple and orange so it's ludicrously loud but I just love it. It's all just so bright and colorful. Some side panels going up with lavender so this is like the little awning front entryway kind of rain section. So when your guests arrive at your door, they're not going to get too drizzled on while they're waiting for you to open the door. Oh, we actually don't have a little awning cover at our front door. We really need one because the guests get wet, the parcels get wet. So yeah, that's one of those fundamental things that all houses should have. Now on the inside, we have got a bright orange sink with a bright yellow tap. Very nice. That goes over here in the corner. So this is the kitchen section. This grey bit here is going to be the oven and there's a croissant baking in it. Whoa. Okay, Jonathan. Yeah, Paisley and Ella's dad can come and live here because he's obviously a bit of a foodie. We've got waffles. We've got croissants. We've got sugar cookies happening here. Well, he's a bit of a baker. So, yeah, bring me all the baked goods. Seems delicious. And the new fridge piece, which we've seen a lot this year, and you, oh, honestly, I can't see it enough because it's so good. So inside the fridge on the top shelf, we have got an icy pole. So that's obviously the freezer section. Nice blue icy pole on the bottom is some milk. And <laughs> they obviously couldn't even spring for like even a flat tile for the top of the milk. Ah, budget cuts. <laughs> But, you know, we need to get our calcium. No matter how we get that in, I don't know where I was going with that. I got distracted. Surprise. Okay, so this is the whole front level done. Front level, the bottom level. These are the spare parts that we have here. Got an extra waffle, so that's cool. We're up to bag number two, which is the bag that Ella comes in. She doesn't come with any accessories because there is not a single thing in this set that she can hold in her hands. So I, I really, really want to see a medium-sized mini doll with normal hands. 
I mean, what is normal? But with hands that you can actually hold things in because these little tiny pinholes, it's so silly. These toddlers can't hold anything and toddlers touch everything. It just seems insane to me. Anywho, getting, yeah. Okay, back on track. Second level's got two of those beautiful window prints on it. This is a, yeah, this is where we would have the bedrooms, but no, we are going to see a bedroom, but this is a Lego friend set. So it's got to have a bathroom. It's the rules. Otherwise, everybody gets very, very angry. So we've got a toilet. We've got a bathtub, which is nice. Printed panel piece with all the bath stuff on it. And on the other side is oh, so a little family picture and some headphones and some music up on there. So interestingly, all of the family members have the same color hair in that picture, but you know, that's Photoshop. And I love the fact that the shower and the tap and everything just on the right level for where the bathtub goes, like where it ends up. Really very, that's really good design. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, but it takes just a bit of care and thought. So another sink over here, and this also lines up beautifully with the yeah, with the toothbrush and the bench behind it and the mirror just above it. Really perfect. And then above all of that, we've got a shower as well. So it's a shower bath combo, which I love. And we can put Paisley in there. She looks she looks kind of big because it's such a small bathroom. Can she stand under that? Yeah, we tilt it up. But it's really designed better, I think, for the micro doll. Uh, it's not very safely for the micro doll, but look, she can lie on the bathtub. So safe. All right, good. Let's put Paisley back in there and they can hang out in the bathroom together and snark at each other till their dad comes up, tells them to stop. Right, in the other room, this is obviously the bedroom, but before we do that, we've got to put a little bit of architecture on at the top. Got a curved window and then the roofing, the slopes going all the way up to the middle. Nice, easy, easy roofing, but it's effective. It's so perfect for what we're having here for this four plus build. And right underneath the headphones and the music is a tiny bed. So is this going to be Ella's room? Oh, I don't know. What's happening here? Got a, got a bedside table with a brush and just some sort of random bottle of stuff on it and then oh we do get another bed so this is a bigger size bed so the girls are sharing a bedroom once again <laughs> Jonathan the dad no bedroom for you dude you're sleeping in the bath the little ones here for Ella and then we got Paisley over here precariously balanced on the edge but we can put her guitar in that little alcove next to her but gosh she's gonna fall off this is going on the second level I'm gonna seat them on the studs before we move it because otherwise it's gonna end very badly and someone's gonna yeah someone's gonna lose an eye or go to hospital or both so second level is on very nice I mean it looks lovely and the colors even though they're bright they're still kind of muted with the pastel yellow I do like it there's space in here kind of sort of for the table and the chairs and I mean it's not designed to be in there permanently so it's supposed to be out here but if you want to connect it up it you could just kind of steal I'm gonna steal a tile from the top here and I could move this other tile over and I'll do it later and you could use this down here in this little jumper area and just yeah use it to attach the table section to the ground floor just as a nice easy hack to keep the kitchen table in the kitchen area yeah it's an idea anyway. There are plenty of ways that we can modify this. And you know that I'm going to be messing about with them later on. But for now, today, this is Paisley's house in its entirety. We have met her entire family. Well, as much of her family as we know about currently. And a new Lego Friends house, albeit in a junior form. So let me know what you think about this set in the comments. If there's anything in here that's going to be useful for you in the future. If it's a set you want to pick up. And I'll be back with another video really soon. You know the spiel. So... I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.